Okay, welcome back everybody. My name is Joshua Jericho and we're gonna be a little more serious right now because I got something I'm thinking about. So I've got two characters that are at two and I've got two that are at three and these threes are locked. Like I can't take them on any of these quests and I really should have saved them I'm thinking for um, bosses because I think I've got two bosses now that I need to get to eventually. So with that being the case, I do want to save these two for bosses. The problem is that uh, they're both a little stressed. So what I want to do is I want to de-stress them. And so we're going to do that for her. And we'll send him into here, I guess. And then, is it less expensive to do this? Because I don't want to spend too much money, but I do kind of want now. It's either way. All right, whatever. I want to de-stress her too, because I believe I'm going to need her for the one of the... Well, I think I need her for bosses in general. Like, I think she's one of the better boss characters. So now with that in mind, <laughs> like I said, I have two bosses now that are up. And I really don't want to do, um, I don't want to go into either of these areas because you see they've got the, the bars already filling up and the number and everything. So I want to go into these guys. So we're going to do this, um, Warren's map. I looked into the, to the abomination and the abomination cannot go with, the Vessel, the Crusader, or the Leper. So for the most part, that's fine. The only problem is I don't have a healer if I do that. So the Abomination, I'm going to keep. He's got good stats on him, but he's just going to have to sit until I get whatever the other... I can't think what the thing's called, but there's another kind of healer that I've not actually seen yet in the game. So if I ever see one, then I will take that one. So in the meantime, um, in terms of my Vestal, I've only got this one. I can go, I need to just find characters that are not too incredibly overstressed right now and take them. This guy did really good for me last time, so I kind of think I want to take him again. The Warrens, let's see, went in there last time. I think we can take bleeding stuff. Um... Does she have an ability that she can use in the last row instead of no okay I still think I gotta put her in the last row put the dog there take the man at arms maybe That doesn't give me like anything in terms of D. Alright, let's think this over again. He's going she's gonna go in this spot. I think I'm gonna take this um plague doctor because he should have the anti blight thing, which he does. Which means I don't need it on the other character, whoever I take. So I guess I could take the dog. Or I could probably take the Grave Robber. Does the Man at Arms have enough damage if I take him? We're going to take the Man at Arms. Take a chance on it. I think. These two together can do enough damage. He'll have Blight. There's no bleed, but I'll live. Because I think there's still skeletons and stuff in the Warrens. I don't know. Last time we went into the Warrens, we screwed up and died almost immediately. So it wasn't exactly a pretty trip. All right, let's do this. Always take the shovels. Warrens, I believe, needs lots of medicinal herbs. Holy waters. 
I always take torches. Take food. I'm broke again. But it is what it is. I'll take one key. And oh man, I have got to get ahead of money. This game is brutal on that term. Now I'm kind of wishing I had that antiquitarian. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Oh, great. Bloodthirsty. I pretty much. Oh, God, not twice. This might have been a mistake. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. This is going so well so far. Why am I cursed like outside of the ruins? Like what am I doing wrong? That's making it so like if I go anywhere that's not the ruins, I'm immediately screwed up. Like what am I doing? That's messing everything up. That's what I need to know. Because clearly I'm messing stuff up left and right. Unforeseen, unforgiving. So apparently the sewers are filled with horrendous looking little pig monster things, which is fantastically gross. surges as the enemy crumbles that is great I love that he marks himself and then he has reposts so that he rebound the attacks how do you not love that like yes please all over the place on that and now it's active for two rounds slowly gently Okay. This is how a life is taken. This looked uncomfortable right at the start, but it's actually rebounding okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yes, but boy does it take some work. Alright, the point here is to try to get items and level up. What we're looking at right now is getting through this dungeon with these guys and then hopefully going into a boss in the next episode, I think. I think that's going to be the plan. Ooh. Waits for the slightest lapse Come in on. concentration. It's pure healing. I'm just not realizing the music in this area is different. 
And that's not a bad thing, I'm just noticing it's different. I always kind of was under the assumption that it was always the same. A death by inches. As the fiend that is falls, fantastic. A faint hope blossoms. Can't stun and okay. So good. Look at that. Immediately just hits him. Continually on That's great. Destroy them all. Why did I forget man at arms could do that? I don't know, but what I do know is that fight went much worse and there were less monsters. Stress levels are already getting so high. What is going on? Why is it like I am cursed if I go anywhere that is not the... Am I just taking the wrong teams? Like, what am I doing wrong? Taking the wrong teams, I just their formation is broken. Maintain I just hate that it feels offensive. like the minute I walk into the into something that's not the ruins, I'm just dead. Like I don't even have a chance. And I don't think it's like they're different, like I don't believe it's set up so that like different areas are stronger, except for the last area. But, man, I just... Like all I can offer is why does this continuously happen to me? I have had no success in any area except for the ruins. I feel like all I have done is run the ruins over and over and over again. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And it's the only place that I have lived, like, survived in. Eradicated. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Move resist, but minus speed. Look how beat up everybody is. God, this is just awful. The light, the promise of safety. What am I doing wrong? That needs bandages. I don't have bandages. Well, that lucked out a little bit. Like. Just to get through this. Man, oh man.
I, okay, I'm getting my blights off. That's good. Now he's diseased. I'm just at such a loss. Like, I have to be doing something wrong, but I don't understand what I could be doing wrong because it's not like my characters in general have... Um... Like, it can't be a thing where you have to take certain characters into certain areas. That doesn't make sense. Everybody needs to be able to go everywhere, really. We'll be way too limited that way, otherwise. And I don't, so I don't think it's that. Is it just maybe the areas are stronger than I thought they were? I thought all of the areas were roughly the same level of difficulty, but maybe I'm wrong and I'm supposed to be taking stronger people into the ones that are not ruined. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. I mean, I guess in theory I'm doing okay this time because we're surviving. But it doesn't feel really good, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm just barely surviving, like I'm just getting destroyed almost. But the problem is, I don't have the money to... victory, but a victory nonetheless. ...to level folks up the way I, I guess I need to. Does it all go back to episode 3 and losing that one fight? Like, does all of this go back to that? Because if that's the case, what a nightmare. You know, like, how terrible is that? That because I lost the battle and two people at level, or in uh, week three, like now, the whole rest of the game, I'm not going to have a chance. I don't think so. Am I complaining too much? I'm probably complaining too much. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to complain so much. I'm just stressed out, like I'm trying to figure out why I'm having problems. If you guys have ideas, please let me know in the comments and stuff. I'd love to hear it because I'm not doing well. <laughs> Missing traps again. Curious is the trap maker's art. Now he's bleeding. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Finding the stuff is only the first mm. test. Now it must be carried home. I got lots of food now, though, so at least I can eat up some healing. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Just because she's having a hard time keeping ahead of it. On her own. And that can make a fantastically huge difference, so... And now the true test. Hold fast Goodbye. or expire. Wow. That's actually pretty exciting, virtuous or vigorous. I mean, what does it do though? I don't know. I don't know what it does, but what I do know is that it's amazing that he actually vigored instead, or like went up instead of went down. <gasps> wow! Yay, tastic! What I think I'm just going to start doing is monitoring the dungeons. Not monitoring them, but when I'm going into anything that's not the ruins, I'm going to try really hard to start taking characters that have at least are level 1, which I think all these guys, well, except for him, are level 1. 
but also I want to take people that have a plus to either or have either a higher level weapon or a higher level armor because I don't know maybe that'll do it you know what I mean like, I just I'm not complaining I'm trying to figure like I'm trying to figure out what I can do differently so that this is better because I don't want you guys to watch the series if it's just me being terrible Although, there is kind of fun in that, too. Like, you can be like, wow, this guy's really bad at this game. Like, how does he, like, you can be sitting on the edge of your seat. Like, if you ever watch a game, I watch game shows a lot. Like, if you ever watch a game show and you're like, that guy's an idiot. How is he doing even, like, okay at this game? Like, how has he made any money at all? Or whatever, right? Like, I get that. So maybe you're like that and you're just watching me and you're going like, what a moron. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I would not blame you for that, actually. I think it would be kind of funny. I'm watching me play, and I'm thinking I'm, an, I'm a moron, so why not? But I want to be better, so... But I know in time I will be better. It's like any other game. Like, you know, the more you play it, the better you're going to get. But still... That's devastating be nice. blow. I wear a moron right now. We'll see what happens. I may not be doing as bad as I think I'm doing. Other than stress, everybody seems to be doing fairly well. If only I didn't need every inch of, of damage that I can get. Then I could probably start using his ability to reduce some of the um, I could use his abilities to start reducing some of the stress, but I need pretty much every bit of healing and every bit of damage I can get right now. Really lucked out with this virtuous thing. Like, just really lucked out with that. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I'm gonna go with the light. Heal her back up with some food. Two more rooms. We got this, guys. We can still do this. I know I've been, like, nervous and, and getting grouchy, but... Oh, man! I cannot stop getting get my traps! Invention. Um... Is there anything good to come through scrolls? Yeah, I think you have a chance to purge a negative quirk. Who's got a negative quirk needs to go? Oh, I know who's got a negative quirk needs to go. He does. Not the one I wanted to get rid of. But I will take it. At least I got rid of one. That's all that matters, really, I guess. Here's 
Here we go. No fight. Okay. One room left. We got this. I know that there's going to be a fight in that last room, though. Because... Oh, no. Lose a quirk. Gain a quirk. I know there's going to be a fight in this last room because the goal is to complete all the fights. Ah! Mind that such missteps are the exception. It must be scouting. I must not have enough scouting. <sighs> Spiders are not the worst thing in the world to fight. Like, I might actually be okay here. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get out of this. Think. Am I gonna get out of this with some money? That's the real question. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I think so. Not a ton of money, but definitely money. And definitely money is better than not money. The bad news is that everybody's pretty stressed out. But the good news is That I'm probably going to get out of this, I think. Be gone, fiend. One more left. Get it. You know, I don't remember if anything good comes out of this, so. Oh, it's a buff. Okay. All right, we got out of it, guys. I'm... Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Oh, I forgot this guy did a lot of experiments on top of everything else. I forgot that. I thought he only did the necromancy stuff, but he actually did the experiments, too. This guy was messed up, man. That's pointless for a healer. All right, we got through it. We got through it. Let's hit the town real quick. And then... The customs are curious, and their generosity is notoriously short-lived. The collection is indeed impressive and all the more appealing when one takes notice of the discounted prices. <sighs> wow. Very tempted, but I'm... Super of the broke. Occultist. That's what I need. I need an occultist to go with my abomination. But I did not get one. I did get a antiquitarian. Which is all the more tempting now. Considering how incredibly broke I am. But we'll have to wait one more turn, I think, on that. 
Because there's other things that's got to be done. Is he the only one that's got sicknesses? No, he's got sicknesses too. What are his sicknesses? Um, Phasm of the Entrails? <laughs> e e e e e e e Oh man, those are those are both terrible. So we have to send him to the thing. He's got to go in. Which one is worse? Probably this one, I guess. Gnarled warty hands. E e e e e. Still can't afford any of this stuff, of course. Can I afford any of this stuff? I can't afford this. Reduces the cost of training by 10. Oh, no, I can't. I need more shields. Or more crests, I mean. Well, how rare is that? But I would actually need more crests. Oh, man. Ginger Vitus. Let me see. My, my two and my two are good. question is who who goes with them now that I think about it because I need her to go actually he can't go I don't think so it's gonna be her and her I may not be able to go actually on the next episode. I really, I really, really want to, but I'm like out of tanks. Hmm. That is frustrating. I don't necessarily have to have a tank. Like, I guess I could take him. Well, <sighs> she can heal two to three for anybody but her, basically. Now she can heal three to three. Oh man, I might have to map this out and figure it out. But we'll try something interesting. I think we're going to have to take the Abomination on the next trip, so that'll be fun. So, hey, we got through the Warrens at least. That's a winner. Chicken dinner. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching, and we will come back on the next episode. And I think instead of a boss, we'll try taking the Abomination and see if we can't get something crazy to happen and uh, have a little fun. And I will see you then.